Assalamu alaikum. This is Ehan Rashid representing Happy Strong Family. Today I'm going to be giving you some tips about the benefits of exercise. In this time of heightened concerns about the coronavirus and the ways in which we can improve our health overall to prevent this condition from affecting us, um, I would like to emphasize that exercise, in fact, is one of those still possible to do things, like a good walk outside the house, for example, um, that not only will boost your immunity, but I'd like to, in these few minutes, quickly tell you about the several advantages of exercise. So number one, just to start from the beginning, exercise by itself is known to cause loss of weight and prevent obesity. And obesity, remember, is the harbinger of many illnesses. Uh, the well-known illnesses, illnesses, which I'll uh, detail in a minute. So, number one benefit of exercise is that it prevents obesity and it prevents, uh, in fact, it encourages weight loss. Number two is that exercise secondarily prevents the onset of heart disease and lowers blood pressure, which are the two big killers of human beings in the entire world, pretty much. So, Second benefit of exercise is that it prevents heart disease and it lowers your blood pressure. The third benefit of exercise is that it, brace, it boosts brain power and it improves your learning and makes you smarter, which I think all of us could do with. So this number th three benefit is its ability to increase our intellectual capacity, our emotional ability to deal with problems, etc., which I'll detail again in the further part of this uh, same video, where uh, the improvement of brain power actually results in improvement of stress uh, dealing also. Number four is, as I mentioned, it actually decreases the uh, detrimental effects of stress itself. And the mechanism scientists believe is to do with decrease of the hormone adrenaline or the counter effects of exercise related hormones, which actually counter, uh, which actually undo or are an antidote to all the stress hormones that we are aware of. So number four benefit of exercise is that it reduces stress and it reduces anxiety. Number fifth benefit is that it actually lifts depression. It actually lifts people who are feeling down into feeling better. And that means that our moods improve, uh, particularly when bad news have affected us, particularly people who are too much uh, interested in watching the media, etc. They find themselves very affected by all the bad news that's coming through. And so to prevent and to counter the effects of this bad news, I think it's important to do uh, some form of moderate exercise, uh, which will actually lift a person out of that state of depression. Number six, is that it actually increases the feelings of energy, meaning it's almost like a cycle. The more exercise you do, the more you want to do more activity. Uh, so it's actually an anti-fatigue medication, almost. Uh, it's, a, it's a happiness drug, if you like, uh, which sounds very strange, but in fact, it's very well proven. And uh, unfortunately, uh, these benefits of exercise are not really <laughs> utilized to the extent that they could have been. So I encourage you for the sake of lifting depression, feeling like uh, wanting to do exercise uh, would be a good way of start. Number seven is that actually it, it strengthens your immune system. The immune system, remember, is the aspect of all of us which can prevent illness from occurring. So that being the case, prevention of illness actually is encouraged by exercise. Because our immune system, the system of the body that Allah Ta'ala has created in all of us, strengthens itself. It's better able to cope with dealing with the challenges that it's being given. So uh, exercise, as I say, number seven benefit is that it actually wards off disease and strengthens the immune system. Number eight, it actually increases building of stronger bones and muscles for that matter. So that the person feels... Uh, it's again, uh, it's almost like a snowball effect. The more exercise you do, the better you feel and the stronger you uh, feel as well. 
so that your bones and your muscles both obviously a very important part of the skeletal network or the system on which we rely on movement etc this strengthens itself uh, and it's therefore a very big boost to our ability to do exercise so imagine it like this the more exercise you do the more you want to do exercise and the more exercise you do the stronger you feel and the stronger you feel the more energy you have and the more energy you have the more ability to deal with illnesses you will have the more ability to deal with illnesses that you have the more health aspects of your life will become apparent to you and a physically healthy person inevitably is a happier person is an emotionally more stable person and this is why uh, the last benefit of this is that it actually uh, actually it's not the last the second last uh, advantage of any uh, exercise it, it actually boosts your self esteem and your confidence in dealing with the situations all of us have times in our life where we deal with tough situations where we really don't know what to do but imagine uh, you have strengthened yourself physically emotionally and indeed intellectually to the point where you are able to deal with an illness that may come your way or the illness that comes in your near and dear ones or an illness that comes in your community if you have that self confidence self esteem built up this will not just benefit you it will benefit people all around you also you become a like a magnet of happiness you become a person that others look up to because you have positivity to reflect you have optimism uh, that's literally oozing from you so it's not a small benefit of exercise the last thing i want to mention here is that most of us when we are stressed out eat unhealthy we eat junk food we eat food that is frankly harmful exercise in fact and all that goes with it that i have mentioned in fact makes you and me a healthier eater a healthy uh, eating means that my ability to cope with disease once again will be better as and when it comes and we ask Allah not to put us on any test but the fact is my brothers and sisters the more you eat healthy the more likely your immunity will be better uh, and as i mentioned these are all connected to each other these things actually almost are the beads of a of a tasbih or the beads of a, a necklace that one follows the other and the enthusiasm that comes with all of that is that you become a more if you like physically strong person you become a person who oozes optimism uh, you become a person who wants to encourage others who are having a tough time you are somebody who people look up to you are somebody who becomes a role model you are somebody basically that becomes a walking individual that everybody wants to be like and therefore like i say in these times of negativity you become a big positive optimist individual may allah taala make us all people who are enthusiastic about good health the prophet muhammad peace be upon him by the way is known to be a picture of health uh, he is known to have raced with his young wife at the age of 60 and one uh, and that as i often mention to my colleagues and friends in the masjid and other locations is no accident that uh, an older man wins a, a, a sprint against a, a much younger woman uh, and although this is all in good fun we can think about it ourselves to say what is the state of our health when it comes to physical exercise uh, in another video inshallah i will go into more detail about what kind of exercise is in fact helpful and how we should therefore really be able to benefit with whatever capacity we have at whatever age and whichever gender we are Uh, jazakallah khair thank you very much i hope inshallah this was a benefit uh, inshallah if you want to see more tips on health related issues please go to our website happystrongfamily.com and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh